to the Almighty God and welcome once again to Shema O Israel. Listen O Israel, the awakening of the mind and the soul. So the big question before we go anywhere is, have you been raised with Christ? Closing your eyes and just imagine that if you are risen with Christ, that could be the most joyful moment in the life of a Christian. In the scriptures from St. Paul's letter to the Colossians, chapter 3, 1 to 4, we read, So if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God the Father. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ who is your life is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. This is the word of the Lord. For then, the death of Jesus was part of a divine plan to save humanity. The death and resurrection of this one man is the very heart of the Christian faith. For Christian, it is through Jesus' death that people's broken relationship with God is restored. This is known as the atonement. St. Paul's letter to the Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 says and it is no longer I who live but it is Christ who lives in me and the life I now live in the flesh I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. I love Paul for this because he is what we are listening to what he says don't forget regardless how long you follow him no matter how long you have been walking with Christ don't forget that you died with him also that your life is hidden with Christ in God don't forget that you are justified not by how well you follow but you are justified by Christ alone don't forget it. It's why Paul constantly preaches the gospel to the people who already knew the gospel. In St. Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 6, verse 4, Therefore we have been buried with him by baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, so we too might walk in newness of life. Don't forget, you can't earn this. Here's why a mark of a Christian maturity is when you stumble and fall, you run to God and it results in more worship. A sign of immaturity is that when you stumble and fall, you run from God. Try to fix yourself up and run back to Him. Which is the end creates this strange life where you press into him when you are doing well and run away from him when you are struggling. That makes those times of struggle very dark, very difficult and very dry. We read in the letter to the Colossians chapter 2 verse 12. When you were buried with him in baptism, you were also raised with him through faith in the power of God who raised him from the dead. That is why we love Jesus. He died to allow God to forgive us of all our sins and welcome us into the family of God. Our life does not always reflect that now we are children of God by faith in Jesus Christ for it is a process by which more and more we reflect the family image. None of us is perfect. So God said in Isaiah 1.18 Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be white 
as wool this is the time for each one of us to introspect into our lives and to just ask us a question if we are risen with Christ because today we live a life and we are in joy when we are risen with Christ this is Anand Joseph for Kadosh Marian Ministries